Hello and welcome to another video from the events calendar. My name is James and in this video I just want to walk you through the process of migrating your events from our old data storage system to the new system. You may have noticed recently that we pushed an update to the events calendar pro. This is the events calendar pro 6.0. It's a huge update, lots of really cool stuff included in this uh, update performance updates as well as new features. In order to take advantage of these new features, you do have to migrate your events from our old system to the new system. Now, the process is very simple. It usually only takes a few minutes. And when you're done, you will have access to the new features. For instance, uh, your calendars will load faster on the front end. Uh, creating events will be faster in the WordPress dashboard. If you're a pro user, you'll have the ability to create series, you'll have the ability to duplicate events, all sorts of cool stuff. So let's go ahead and jump into a WordPress install and take a look at this process. Okay, so here I have a WordPress website with some events and I've updated to 6.0, but I have not yet migrated the events. So we're going to just go ahead and go through that process here real quick. So when you update your plugin, you'll probably be presented with some kind of welcome screen and there should be a button right there on that welcome screen that you can click on to start the process to migrate. If you don't see that screen or you saw it and you navigated away from it and you want to come back and start that process, you can go ahead and hop on over to events, settings, and then go to this upgrade tab over here. And you should see a screen that looks like this and I'm just going to go ahead and click this button right here. Now you can see that it is completed zero so far and there are eight events remaining. And so this should just take a couple of minutes. Typically we've discovered in our testing that uh, the migration process usually takes five minutes or less. And it does depend on how many events that you have uh, in your WordPress website. So I'm gonna go ahead and let this process do its thing. And then uh, we'll come back to you here in a minute. Okay, so that process took actually less than a minute. Um, it was stuck at zero for about a minute and then it just sort of finished up. And now we have some information here. Um, as you can see from the preview, it estimates that the full migration will probably take around five minutes, kind of like I said before. During this time, you will not be able to create, edit, or manage your events. Your website should still function. You know, your website won't go down. It's just that you won't be able to create new events or edit events during this process. Um, so if there's any edits you need to make to an event, uh, go ahead and make those first before you start the actual migration process. So I'm just going to go ahead and come down here and click Start Migration. And it just wants to verify some of the information that it already said. Uh, your calendar will still be visible on the front end, uh, but you cannot make changes to your calendar while this is happening. So yes, I'll go ahead and click OK. And then we'll wait about five minutes. Again, I'll go ahead and pause the video, and when this is completed, we'll come back and uh, we'll see how it looks. Okay, that actually took much less than five minutes. Migration is complete. You can see your site is now using the upgraded event data storage system. That means that you will be taking advantage of the um, increased speed both here in the dashboard while creating events as well as on the front end. Your customers uh, will experience faster calendar loading time. So. Uh, really cool. If you're a pro user, there's some other features that you'll have available to you. For instance, there is an event duplicator tool now, which is something that people have been asking for for a while. Duplicating events has not been a very good experience in the past, uh, but now we've gone ahead and baked that feature into the pro version. And uh, you'll also have the ability to create series. There's a lot of really cool features and we have a lot more features uh, coming both with the events calendar and now that we've done this step with the events calendar, we also have some features planned for event tickets. For instance, we would like to implement uh, recurring tickets, the ability to sell tickets to a series, things like that. Uh, so lots of cool features coming. So definitely make sure you complete this migration so that you can take advantage of the cool features that we've already implemented and that you'll have access to the features that we implement in the future. So thanks for checking out this video. Um, I hope you enjoy the new Events Counter 6.0 and we'll catch you in the next video.